Alright, so it is 2.15 in the morning. It is Monday morning. <sighs> I'm having a crisis. So we're going to solve this the way I always do. So, <clears throat> it is a new year and it hasn't been off to a great start. <clears throat> My one friend, Irene, has COVID and the way she messaged me about it really upset me. I'm still upset about the shit. <clears throat> She said, you know, long story short, if I die, no, I cared about you. And that's like not something you say to someone like me who's got mental issues like that. Like that, that line that hurts. That, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Because I hate I hate that defeatist attitude and shit, and <clears throat> I also don't like how that upsets me. Because it's it's just the giving up aspect of it. Like that really hurts. Like she's young. She's only 50, she's gonna be fifty one this year. Young. So no. <clears throat> Is she vaccinated? I don't fucking know. I never asked her. I didn't think about that. I'm just like, how can you say that to me? Like, that really fucking hurts. I mean, it's good that you love and care about me, but it's like, fuck. You could have went about it a different way. But I haven't heard from her and since she told me that, so I don't know how she's doing. She was last active on Messenger yesterday. But she didn't say anything back, so I don't know. <clears throat> so that's like number one on my list of shit that's bothering me. Number two, I feel like I'm coasting again. Just on autopilot and shit. And it's hard to come off autopilot. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I, re I don't know. <sighs> I haven't been able to really write. Although I did do a little bit of writing just before the year ended. So, I guess I'm in like a cool down period, maybe. I don't know, fuck. Um, all my efforts at the gym, while they're good, because, you know, I've lost weight, I've built muscle up properly again. I'm still limping and, you know, I feel it, it detracts from everything, all the effort I put in, you know, and it hurts. It really, it, it fucks with my, it fucks with my mentality. <clears throat> and makes me feel less of an achiever, basically. Um... What else is bugging me? <laughs> yeah. Beck raising my rent to 300. Fucking retarded. Just a never ending battle with her. <sighs> I'm like, whatever. And if you're like, oh, you pay rent? What? Like, yeah, I pay rent. <laughs> or if you're the type that's like, oh, I'll just deal with it. <laughs> Ain't that easy, dude. You try dealing with a gas lighter for all your life. <laughs> and yeah, and then there's those who have said that I should move out. And yeah, I will move out. <sighs> I just... That's one thing that's a, that's a huge stressor for me to move out. Because I got... One, I got money put back. That's important to have that. But two, it's finding a place. And three, <sighs> making it stick. Because if I don't make it stick again... I'll have to hear about that bullshit. Yeah. Because she is the type to... And I've mentioned this before. She'll rub stuff in over and over and over. And it's like... It's annoying. But, I don't know. Um, what else? I guess just lack of motivation. And my sleep is so fucked. Like, I legit have been going to bed at like 5 and 6 in the morning now. 
and that's my new normal, and I fucking hate it. I want to go to bed at like three, but my body's like, eh, stay awake a little longer. I'm like, <sighs> and I guess I just feel the drag of getting older as well. And it really sucks. I shouldn't feel that way, but I do. Like this year I'm going to be 36. And I'm starting to kind of feel that. And I don't want to feel that. I, I don't like that. You know, the, the reality of I'm going to be older. Like I don't care about being older. That's too much to handle. God, man, adulthood's a fucking lie. Like, it ain't easy being an adult. It's really not, like, getting stuff paid. That's, mm, that's the easy stuff for me. But, <clears throat> even there, then again, trying to save money is a bitch. Because even, even with my increase in SSI, it's like, oh, that's cool. That's great. That's helpful. But then I have my bills to pay. And then putting money back and everything else in between because if I was on my own doing this shit I'd be broke every fucking month just paying my rent and bills and all that shit like it's ridiculous but <clears throat> it's just really hard what else my relationship with Bella is good I just wish we I don't know, we've hit like the comfort phase. And I hate comfort phase because it means like, you know, we're just comfortable. But we're trying to edge out of that phase to be back where we used to be. And it's slow going. <sighs> um, I don't know what else is there. I'm really trying to drag all the heavy shit out, but it's really hard to drag the heavy shit out because I don't want to come out. Um, I do feel like oh, I know I waste the fucking day. Oh my god, do I waste the day? Because <sighs> if it's a day I don't go work out, I end up staying in bed all fucking day. I just stay in my room because I don't feel like going downstairs. I don't feel like eating. Um. I've been depressed since I heard about Irene with COVID and shit. And it's like, <sighs> I hate this depression shit. It's so hard to come out of. And it's just, I don't know. It's one of them things. Um, I still want to keep up with the gym, though, despite having my issues with it. <sighs> um. Definitely, you know, proud that I got new stuff. You know, I got new clothes, so I have better stuff to wear, which I'm happy about. Because for my <laughs> my ratio for shirts to shorts and sweats is basically uneven as hell. I have more shirts than I do pants and stuff. I don't even wear jeans anymore because, one, they don't fit. <laughs> yet and two I can't really maneuver in them motherfuckers right so yeah. but I did notice a good thing about losing all this weight um the I'm trying to think I don't know if you might you might have this towel in your collection um the Art Nouveau Princess Leia towel that I think it was Geek Fuel. I think they had it, or somebody did. I forget which one. I have that towel. I like it because it's Art Nouveau. That I can wrap halfway around my waist, which is pretty cool. Because before I can only tie it at my hip. Now it's like mid gut. So <laughs> I've lost a lot of weight. So I'm happy about that. <coughs> But yeah. So I don't know, I just have like a lack of 
drive and motivation basically and I really hate that like I'm so like I'm more absorbed in the Halo Infinite than anything else and I, I hate that like I love Halo but I hate that I'm so sucked into it because I want to be doing other shit I want to write I want to I really do want to fucking write <sighs> and it's just frustrating it's like oh. I don't know I feel like the whole world's like crashing in on my head and it's like fuck it's like my analogy with pb and j the creamy peanut butter is smothering me and i want my super chunk so mentally realistically what can i do about this shit that's going on now well for one i can't control shit outside of my I can't control forces outside of my control. I have to accept that. It's something I've accepted before. <sighs> I should say I have trouble accepting that. Because when I was younger, I used to say I control everything, but no, I can't. <sighs> Two, Irene may live, she may die. I don't know. It all depends. My writing... That'll come back when it's ready to come back, I guess. I just hope I don't go on some long-ass drought of writer's block, because that's not fun. <sighs> um, the gym, hopefully, you know, I'll get better. My limp will go, well, my limp ain't gonna go away. Who the fuck am I kidding? I'm gonna be limping all my life. I don't, I just, I hate it so much i used to when i would walk i said like i can't even walk through walmart it's that bad <sighs> like I, if i walk with a shopping cart i limp really hard and it's really sucks <sighs> um but yeah when i used to walk i used to try to walk normal and I remember one time when I was with my fiance at the time, I tried on shoes and they were to help me correct my walk. And I remember asking her, I was like, am I walking normal? Am I walking straight? And she said, yeah, you are. And I was like, I started crying. I legit started crying because I've always wanted to walk normal because I don't like limping. It's, it's frustrating. It's, It just makes me feel uglier, honestly. And she used to say my limp was sexy, and that hurt my feelings a lot more, and I got really pissed off about that. <sighs> and I remember I actually cried when she said that shit. I'm like, there's nothing sexy about it. It's fucking irritating, and it, it's hurtful to me. So, you know, my limp is part of me who I am but it's only a very very minuscule fraction of who I am I should say sliver <clears throat> my sleep <laughs> so hard to get that sleep under control because there's so much good shit on TV and then you get sucked into a fucking show and it's like oh, I gotta watch all five seasons in one day <laughs> Ugh. But it's not even that, it's just me <sighs> trying to escape so hard and I don't like reality because reality is really fucking hard. And I'm terrified, terrified of this fucking decade. I don't know why, I just really am because I didn't think, <sighs> I guess I didn't think the 2010s would ever end. And I was that way when I was little. Like when 90s came to an end. I was terrified when the 20, when 2000s came to an end. I think I was terrified. Or just less terrified, I guess. But now the 10s are over and we're in the 20s. It's like, what the fuck do I do? And it's scary. It's fucking frightening. 
because my autism cannot handle this. Like, <sighs> but I'm like, I have done better with that and gotten it under control because normally I'd be freaking the fuck out and I would be pounding my head with my fists, punching my feet, no, punching my ankles, uh, bleeding myself more. Thank fuck I haven't done that. And most of the scabs on my left arm have healed up, so that's nice. <sighs> I think I'm down to... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five on my left arm down from... I think... Ten. So half of them have healed. So I'm doing better. I don't know. It's just I get backed up on emotions and shit. And it's just like... Pick, 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 pick. <sighs> what else? I don't know. Sleep is just one of those things that's hard to control. Honestly. That's one. I would be louder, but everybody's sleeping. So. Yeah. I don't know. I just. Autopilot. <laughs> That's it's hard to take me and will control again. I'm scared of that. Honestly, like I feel like I'm just going in one big fucking continuous wheel and when is it gonna break you know because i used to look at it i used to look at it like what bad shit's gonna happen this year more people are gonna die i'm gonna lose more you know should i have another insanity break would it benefit me well would it help me be more productive who fucking knows I don't know. All my insanity breaks always end up in the worst fucking ways. Which leads to me beating on my head, picking more scabs, freaking out, crying, silent screaming, and just withdrawing into whatever. That's how I feel. I don't know. So, do I feel better now? A little bit. I'm still kind of tense. I gotta crack my fucking back. Once I crack my back and shit, I'll feel better. That's one part. <laughs> yeah, once I crack everything, I'll feel a little bit better. I guess, I don't know. I just, it's rough. I don't know. I would just like to have a positive fucking year. I mean, 2020 was my best year. 2021 was a good year. This year, just... It's like off to a shitty start. And that stems from Betty White's death last year. And then... I ran with COVID. And what to do about Beck. Christ. I don't know. Days I want to pull with Dolores Claiborne, shove her down the steps, smack her upside down with a fucking frying, frying pan or rolling pin. Rolling pin. My bad. But either one would do the trick. God. I mean, it's like you... One person actually commented a whole bunch of shit, and I ended up blocking the motherfucker because I gave him an opportunity, and he failed. And he's like, oh, I know you, I know you, I know you don't fucking know me. <sighs> I mean, technically, if you're watching this video, you know me from all the other videos I've made about me and stuff. <sighs> so you know me, but do you know my core? Not really. Should I have moved out at a younger age? Yeah, definitely, I should have. 
Should I have had better parenting in my youth that would have helped me get out earlier? Definitely. Did I ever have that? No. I was mollycoddled all my life. And it took me a long ass fucking time to deprogram from Beck's bullshit. Yeah, it was a long time of deprogramming. I mean, you're talking just the gaslighting alone. Whew. Whew. Man. Mm. But I've covered all that in other videos. <sighs> so what am I going to do about that cunt? <coughs> A barrier! No, I ain't going to do that shit. Because then, then i got to go to fucking jail. Or prison. I'll lose all my shit. <sighs> nah, murder, stupid. No, I will, once I get on the ball and out of this depression funk, I'm going to look into getting family therapy on the ball again because she needs to understand how she's impacting everybody around her. Because in her little world, her fantasy world, literally she lives in a fantasy world, I'm not making this shit up. She's right. Me and everybody else around her is wrong. It's bad. Oh, it's so fucking bad. <sighs> so, yeah. <sighs> so, that's what I got going on. So, do I feel a little bit better now? Yeah, I, I do. I actually feel tired. <laughs> he does some shit. I don't know. I just always, I always get that feeling of like that pressure and that you know, like um, Andrew from Breakfast Club. When, when you got when that shit, that that whole line beating on my head. That pressured mentality. It's just that shit. But, uh, so, yeah, I feel better. But, yeah, that's what's going on in my head right now in my emotional state, so. But do I feel like doing anything horrible to myself? No. Not at all. I do want to eat these Doritos, though. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Fucking snacks and shit. Like munchies in the middle of the night. <sighs> Fuck. So. I feel better. But basically, things that are out of my control, I have no control over. And I just have to let them play out. And see what happens. Honestly, I can't do anything about it. <sighs> so... Yeah. So I'm gonna get off of here, upload this, and I'm gonna watch some more vids crash, hopefully. Because I gotta get up in the morning anyway, because I have to get pills. <sighs> so, until next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers. <sighs>